Hello and welcome to this first episode of my podcast, Sacral Connection. It was actually so good when I decided for this name for my podcast because I was just talking aloud, you know, trying to decide which was the better title to give to this series. And I said, hmm, I'd love to call it Sacral Connection. Mm. And as I said that, the bells, uh, the church that I have just close to the house, the place where I live, so the, the bells of the church started to sing. So I got it as a clue sign and it's blessed and that is the title, Sacral Connection. It comes from the Sacral Chakra, of course. And the reason why is because I am so connected with creativity and I want this to be a creative space of exploration. And I also desire for this space to be the opportunity for you to dive deep into your sacral chakra, into the sacral area of your body and your life, into this sacral laboratory where you hold life force, pure life force. Sacral chakra is the place where we bear life, both for men and women. It is the place where we can create whatever we desire. We can, uh, we can work on our own desires. So sacral connection is that moment when you stop for a while. Maybe you want to sip your favorite hot drink and lay down on a couch Maybe you want to listen to me while you are driving or while you are moving from a place to another in your favorite means of transportation. Well, it doesn't matter. I just recommend you. Um, it may become <laughs> mystical sometimes, uh, I dare say often, oftentimes. So make sure to be undisturbed and also make sure that in case you need or you feel the need to close your eyes and let go completely, you can do it in a safe place. So maybe if you want to re-listen to it while you are driving, it's a cool idea, or while you are cooking, if you are you know, using knives or other electronic uh, devices in, in the kitchen. So make sure to be safe. Okay, this is it. So I'm going to take poses as well. I am actually moving my hips in a circular movement from left to right. And I let creative force Mm, to rise up through me and to come out from the depth of my being through my body, through my vocal cords and to reach your heart. So the message for today, I may share with you very short or very long messages. I will share with you what comes that I feel the life force is saying to me, share it. So the message for today, it's about the sacred plan. What do I mean for sacred plan? We have our own vision of the things that we desire to accomplish, to reach, to manifest, to witness, to embody in our own life. And then there is what it's called a uh, universal plan, the sacred plan, something bigger, huger than who we are here on planet Earth. Our soul and the power of our heart is infinite and is expanding. And so this sacred plan, which stands below us and above us and on our right and on our left and also inside us and it's playing with all these dimensions this plan that 
permeates everything, that is in everything, that is in everyone we can meet. This sacred plan can be a bit different, actually, <laughs> of the plan that we have envisioned for us. So let's start from changing the world. Let's start from upgrading the language. Why don't we call it sacral drawing? Mm, how does it feel for you? Mm, feel it, sense it. Sacral, as I, I was sharing with you at the beginning, it regards this creative part of ourselves where we can be free, where we can explore, where we can express our core essence. And drawing, it is something that comes out of our hands, but that can be so much intuitive as well. And it feels less restrictive than a plan. So, <laughs> This message comes from the start of my week, actually. I did start this week on Wednesday instead of my usual Sunday and Monday. I love, love, love to use Sundays as the best way for, you know, concentration and for working, creatively working on my business. And then when I do this work, this prep work on Sunday, Monday morning feels so much lighter and all the week flows <laughs> much more smoothly in a much more smoothly way, I have to say. So this week it started on Wednesday for me because I actually had to take care of some family uh, stuff. And so I didn't have a lot of uh, time space for myself, which made me quite nervous, I have to say, but, and stressed. But what actually unfolded for me on Wednesday morning? Usually I have a mug or a glass of hot water with lemon, and I'd love to add some spices as well. Lately I am using cinnamon, maybe some ginger, and I also love to add a little pinch of salt. So on Wednesday, I did my water, <laughs> I put it inside all the powders, um, and then when it was the moment to sip it, I realized that the flavor was actually a bit different. And so I realized that instead of adding cinnamon powder to the mix, I used nutmeg. <laughs> so you may know the flavor and the taste of the nutmeg. It's much more spicy and much more strong. It's stronger than cinnamon. And actually it fits better with a salted dish. I love to use it for bechamel, let me tell you. <laughs> but apart from this, so I realized that I added to the blend, to the mix, nutmeg instead of cinnamon. And I said, oh my God, this is not disgusting, but this is so strong. And it doesn't feel so good for me as the first thing that I put inside my body in the morning. Anyway, I... I did drink a lot of it, almost all of it. And what this little change of plan, let's call it like this, uh, made me see is that there is a sacral drawing behind me. and upon me, and below me, <laughs> and on my right and on my left. So there is a sacral drawing, which is here to play with us. That little, um, you know, 
change in the recipe made me ponder about the thing that I was going so fast, I was running so much, I was so stressed that I didn't see what I, I was doing and that I used nutmeg instead of cinnamon. And then, of course, I decided to have it because by the experience, we can embody more the truth that is important for us, the wisdom that comes to us. So I drank it because like this, I could have a physical experience of that little huge event of changing one ingredient in my morning water. So it made me ponder about the thing that, you know, I was going so fast, I was so stressed that I couldn't see what I was doing. And that maybe, even though, actually without maybe, and that especially when we run so much, when we get stressed so much, and when we create so much resistance, restriction, we are not allowing sacral drawing to bloom and to play with us. So sacral drawing was saying to me, you see, you see what you've done. And it was in a funny way, in a funny, uh, playful way, you know. But it was a call back to present. It was about saying, okay, take a breath, take a break as well. And look, today it's Wednesday. It's okay. You are starting your week now. Be grateful because you have this opportunity right here, right now. And also be grateful because everything you've had before, which was different from your plan, <laughs> it was indeed sacral matter. It was life force giving you the opportunity to focus on something different that was much more important in that moment than what you believe it was important for your plan. Instead, allow the sacral drawing and see what comes up. Be open to receiving that image. Be willing to be in that image. Be willing to be the vivid, bright color of that image. Be willing to be who you came here to be. So this message today is to give you the opportunity to reflect on your own path. Which speed are you applying to your journey? Are you going fast, so fast that you cannot see the landscape around you, that you cannot see the people who are crossing your path or who are walking beside you? Or are you moving very slow? Are you observing all the details? Are you allowing sacral drawing to unfold before your eyes? Are you playing with it? Are you co-creating with it? Or are you somewhere in between these two positions? For sure, your position is unique. And today this message comes to you as an opportunity to go within and reflect and feel through your body what you need most right now. Do you feel that you are on the right path, that you are going at the right speed for you, that you are observing all the details that are necessary to you? Are you creating resistance? Do you want things to go your way? Or are you open to unforeseen circumstances? Are you open to miracles? Are you open to magic? Are you open to be amazed? Are you open... <sighs> to witness something that can be a little different from your plan, but that can amaze you, that can amaze us. So it's an invitation to play more with sacral drawing, 
to tune more into our own intuition so that sacral drawing can take form through the life that we embody each and every day. I feel blessed for having the opportunity to share this space, this message with you. I've recorded all the message eyes closed, standing up, which is the way through which I feel life force coming through me for us all in the strongest, most powerful and beautiful way. So have a blessed continuation of your journey and sacred connection be.